In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the crush, blacks and whites in the hit film for Express Video Editor. I personally like this effect quite a bit. You left click, hold and drag it to your video clip and then let go when you reach it. And you can find this in the colors correction folder within the effects tab. Now I'm going to go to the controls tab and under the effects menu, we have crushes, blacks and whites. You left click the carrot and it gives you the black option and the white option. Now, if I increase the blacks, it um, it keeps the brightest parts of the image bright, you know, white color, and makes um, makes the rest of the image, uh, you know, become a black color, like so. And you don't want to go all the way to one, because then you just uh, get, uh, you know, all black. So maybe something like this, if you want to promote the white parts of your image. And now, if you want to promote the black, uh, darker parts of the image you can uh, you know decrease the amount of whites like so and this is kind of like just uh, blinding white maybe if you um, maybe if you use keyframing so that maybe the white is from here and then you, it just decreases it would uh, make for a good um, intro effect and the uh, opposite for black you can use this for a uh, outro effect like introduction and then the outro is at the end it, it won't look too bad I'll go ahead and show you how to do that with keyframing and finally I don't know how well this would work with keyframing but you can make a really cool effect by reversing the white in the black like so if you do uh, totally reverse the whites and the blacks you get this inver uh, inv uh, inverted image that kinda reminds me of like uh, a type of night vision or a kind of dream, uh, dreamy feel to your uh, or nightmarish actually nightmarish um, nightmarish feel to your movie clip it depends on what you're going for I'm not sure what they call this particular effect if you know go ahead and leave uh, uh, go ahead and uh, tell me in the comments below and so it doesn't look too bad you can you know change how it looks but personally I think it looks best if you just keep it um, you do, if you totally reverse it like so it doesn't um, get rid of the details Finally, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do um, do like an intro and outro for the keyframing. So I'm gonna just first shorten this. I don't want to work with so much. Uh, I'm gonna slice this. I don't need this part. I'm gonna go ahead and make a composite shot. Before I make this composite shot, I want to get rid of the effect. Delete. Okay. You don't have to, but you know, uh, for the sake of demonstration, I'll show you. So left click and then um, uh, select make composite shot. Um, hit the OK button, and I'm gonna have to apply the effect because I deleted it. You left click, hold, and drag it to your video clip like so. Right now it's not showing anything. And so for the um, let's say for example maybe after this part, this after what? So this goes from maybe after like 12 seconds. Um, you can uh, enable black and white. It'll, this at, after 12 seconds, it'll look uh, the way it's looking like this. But when you're introducing the um, film, as a, you know, in terms of introduction, maybe you want it to go uh, be really bright. So you hit, you enter zero. You make sure that this uh, tr uh, trimmer or scrubber is all the way to the area that you want it to be, point that you want it to be, and hit the enter key. It looks I can tell what's going on. When you put a set it to absolute zero, it doesn't really register that. So you want it to be like a point zero one. And now it's not a nice bright color like this. And you know that effect uh, uh, needs to la la last a little longer to give that impact, like that. And then um, maybe for the outro, let's see. If I uh, move this uh, black, because it, right now it's uh, a constant um, zero. For the outro, you want you want to start maybe over here, the regular um, original zero value for the black crushes, and then at the end of the video, you want the black to increase to maybe one. That should work. And so let's see how that looks. So I'm just going to play it from the beginning and l let you watch.
And so that doesn't look too bad. It's really, uh, it works pretty well as an intro and outro depending on the uh, movie clip or video clip that you're working on. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.